Hi and welcome. I'm Andrea Volterra, working at the Department of Cell Biology and Morphology of the University of Lausanne in Switzerland. My lab studies the role of astrocytes in synaptic functions. Myself and my PhD student Mirko Santello are going to show you our recent discovery that the cytokine TNF-alpha is necessary for the induction of synaptic modulation by astrocytes. We have focused our studies on a brain area involved in spatial memory called the hippocampus, specifically on the region of the dentate gyros. Here you see a forest of neurons communicating with an intricate network of synaptic connections. Synapses are enveloped by the astrocytes that are well positioned to control their functions. We previously found that the activation of particular ATP receptors in astrocytes called P2Y1 results in elevations of astrocytic intracellular calcium, which leads to vesicular glutamate release from the astrocytes. This, in turn, activates NMDA receptors present on neighboring presynaptic terminals, which increases synaptic glutamate release. These increases in synaptic glutamate release can be detected with the patch clamp technique as an increase in the frequency of spontaneous miniature synaptic currents. To our surprise, we noticed that if we removed the cytokine TNF-alpha, either pharmacologically or genetically, astrocyte stimulation did not increase synaptic activity anymore. However, by adding minimal amounts of TNF-alpha to the knockout preparation, we could restore the astrocytic effect. We then tried to understand the mechanism of the TNF-alpha action. First, we checked if removing the cytokine affected astrocyte calcium increases. We monitor calcium responses via ultra-short applications of P2Y1 receptor agonists locally in the processes of the astrocytes. To photomicroscopy revealed no difference between normal and tnf alpha lacking astrocytes. We next focused on the glutamate release process. With evanescent wave microscopy, we monitor the dynamics of glutamate release from astrocytes and found that this process was grammatically impaired in absence of TNF-alpha. In spite of undergoing faster release upon stimulation, glutamatergic vesicles are released slowly because they are not docked to the cell membrane. Therefore, we discovered that astrocytes can positively modulate synaptic transmission but this strictly depends on the way glutamate is sent from the astrocytes to the presynapse. Normally, glutamate is sent in a fast burst that is sensed up by the NMDA receptors of the presynapse. We show that TNF-alpha is necessary for this release to work properly. Indeed, if glutamate release is low, transporters take up glutamate before it reaches the target neuronal receptors and the astrocyte modulation does not occur anymore.